Hello, my friend. I was born in Mexico, Amanda, among a primitive clown tribe. And uh, I moved up north, originally up to Canada, uh, because I heard that there was a, a high demand um, in the clowning industry up there. I moved up there and found it to be completely the opposite, that uh, it was a harsh place for people like me. And I found the industry very challenging and was faced with some of the greatest poverty I had ever experienced. It got to a point where I couldn't even afford uh, the clown makeup anymore. And uh, times were very difficult and often I would realize that my only solace, my only comfort was my pet, my pet beach ball. And uh, I went everywhere with beach ball, and uh, without it, I don't, I don't know if I would still be here. You know, it, it came to a point where I realized I need to go home, back to Mexico, where I was born. I've been gone so long, and I don't know if I even have people there anymore, but I need to go home. So that's what I decided to do. My people uh, were called the Payaso uh, down in Mexico and uh, we were persecuted a lot down there and um, things were getting very difficult so we were forced, some of us, to seek refuge in other places. So I traveled northward and spent the majority of my adult life and even adolescence up in those northern lands. But it just reminded me there's still a lot of inequality in this country. We've got a long way to go. We've made a lot of progress, but there's still a long way to go. Definitely isn't equal. So I wanna fight for that, you know? As the clowning industry up north in Canada began to wane the poverty and hardships I suffered because of it began to overpower me. The only thing that really kept me going was my pet beach ball. And uh, it got me a little extra work because of the its great size and power and strength. And she was a great blessing to me beautiful girl uh, during those difficult years Strong. up north you're a hungry girl I always felt deep inside that I needed to travel south that is good. You're right. and return to my homeland among my people the Payasa okay. when I realized that I had become so impoverished that I could no longer afford clown paint. That's when I knew that I needed to begin the journey southward to find my people again, to find my belonging place. I hoped and prayed with everything in my clown heart that I might be able to find my people again and return to the glory and joy that exists in our culture, our great and beautiful, beautiful culture, the culture of the Payaso. But I was so scared. <laughs>